This presentation is intended to demonstrate the darkroom technique of combination printing to artists familiar with conventional darkroom procedure. Industrial Evolution, which I created in 1984, is an example of combination printing. It was made by dodging the pond area of the landscape during the printing and then burning the image of the pliers into the pond area. Now I will demonstrate the process by making a new image starting at the beginning. First, you must find the images that you want to combine. Begin by sorting through your negatives and find two images that would look interesting together. Then determine if the images can be combined without too much difficulty. Images with light areas or large areas of pattern usually combine readily. Also, check to see if the lighting and the grain structure of the two images are similar so that the finished image will look natural. For the first image, I chose this view of the walkway outside of Memorial Hall at Harvard University for its classic architectural look and the simple light floor where I intend to project my second image. For the second image, I selected this image of grasshoppers. The simple light background will make it easy to project or burn this image of the grasshoppers into the first image because on the negative, the area surrounding the grasshoppers will be dark and therefore mask the image of the grasshoppers during the exposure. The procedure requires a photographic darkroom with two enlargers and sturdy easels that will not move once the two images have been aligned. Place the first negative in an enlarger and enlarge it to the desired size on a sheet of plain drawing paper. Then trace a simple outline of the main elements of the image. Take this drawing and place it in the easel of the other enlarger to use as a guide for determining the scale of the second image. Project the second image to the desired size on the drawing of the first image and trace it. Now you have a sketch of your basic composition. To prepare for making your finished print, place a piece of photographic paper in the easel of the first enlarger. Stop down the lens and make a test strip to determine your exposure. Next, make a test strip of the second image to determine the exposure for the second image in your finished print. You are now almost ready to make your print. The final step is making a mask through which to project the second image so that no unwanted light reaches the photographic paper while you burn in the second image. The mask is made by projecting the image to be burned in on a piece of stiff, opaque material like mount board or an empty paper package. Trace the outline of the image at a scale smaller than it is intended to be projected so that the completed mask can be held between the enlarger and the easel. The mask will be used to block extraneous light from reaching the paper during exposure. Stop down the enlarger lens and set the timers as determined by the test strips and you are ready to combine the two images on one piece of photographic paper. Place the photographic paper in the easel of the first enlarger and make the first exposure. Then move the paper to the easel of the second enlarger. Make your second exposure through the mask while moving it to blend the projected image into the first exposure. Then develop the print as usual. Here is the finished print. Be patient. It probably will require some practice dodging and burning the two images to make them blend together. This technique can result in some interesting images. Good luck with yours.